What is up everybody? So I know that geometry is a sore spot for so many students. So these are 10 questions you absolutely have to have down for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT geometry. Okay, let's do it. All right, so here we're dealing with chords. Now, with chords, there's one really important rule that you need to know for this question. It says, in the circle with center O, AB is four and BC is six, let's mark those down. Which of the following could be the values for DB and BE? All right, so let me explain this to you. When you have two chords that are intersecting, look at this now, DE and AC are intersecting, right? When you have two chords that are intersecting, the product, so when you multiply the pieces of those chords, those products have to be equal. So here's what I mean. It tells us that AB is four and BC is six. So four times six has to equal DB times BE. Okay, so four times six has to equal DB times BE. So what is the question asking? It's asking what could be the values for DB and BE? So here's what we know. On the left side, four times six is 24. So DB times BE has to be 24. So we just need to look for numbers that multiply to give us 24. Let's look at the answer choices. Answer choice A, we would have two and 11. Two times 11 is 22, not 24. Answer choice B, 10 times 14, that's 140, not 24. Answer choice C, eight times six, 48, not 24. Four times five, 20, not 24. It has to be answer choice E, three times eight, which is 24, perfect. So remember, if you have two chords that intersect, the product of those segments have to be equal to each other. All right guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure to watch the rest of the videos in this series to get the help that you need for the PSAT, SAT, and ACT, and make sure to check out our other series. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe, because this is obviously the best thing that's ever happened to SAT prep. <laughs> there we go. And I like love it. I think yeah. that's the one.